Sobo. We're here at AARP. Your brother is on the cover of the magazine. Yes, he is. Do you think you could rival him on the cover? I think you could. Do I think what? You could rival him on that cover. You, you both are silver foxes. I just appreciate it. You know, I'll tell you one thing I, I'd like to share with you is uh, my family's always read the Daily Word. You know what that is? It's a little monthly publication. And this morning, here was the word. Um, can I read it? Ageless. I honor my ageless nature by living with enthusiasm and gratitude. The essence of my being is ageless. The spark of divinity of God within me is everlasting. It was there before my birth and will continue beyond my physical body. What a blessing it is to know that this most real part of me is always fresh and vibrant as I cherish memories, wisdom, growth, and a bounty of lessons learned throughout my life. I understand that my fundamental nature remains ageless. No matter my chronological age, my spirit is as new as a budding leaf. I visualize myself in the flow of all that God is. I honor my ageless nature by living this day with enthusiasm and gratitude. Their leaves will not wither, but they will bear fresh fruit every month because the water for them flows from the sanctuary. So do you feel ageless? Is that how you feel? Kind of, I mean, but isn't that remarkable that that was the, the word for the day? And here I am. Uh, it's very fitting. Celebrating my bro for his cover of art. I think it's great. And you've been acting for a very long time. It's in your blood, in your family. How have the how have your roles changed? Um, how have my roles changed? Yeah, relative to 20 years ago. Oh, well, you know, it, it uh, it's I funny. And being an actor, you're always kind of surprised with with what comes up. I mean, I feel fortunate just to be working in this business and making a living at it. And uh, yeah, I mean, changes come, uh, parts come, but then you get surprised. I never thought, that, you know, my age that I would have a makeout scene, but I did last year. So I'm up for anything, you know, whatever happens. Who was your makeout scene with? Oh, I can't remember her name now. She was a sweet young lady, uh, actress. I it was on my show, The Millers. So that never gets old. No. no. <laughs> and The Millers is very funny. Did you enjoy acting in that? Yeah, I did. I really, I really like it. And in that scene, I had I kissed her, and my family was peeking at me, watching. And and they wanted the kiss to be a big one, like, you know, something was happening, you know? A real big smooch. So I talked to her about it, and I said, you know, I'm going to open my mouth wide when I kiss you because they have to be worried about what's going on. I said, but don't worry about it. You just open, we'll open our mouths and kind of wiggle around. It'll look real. And I told her about my first kiss on, on screen. I was about probably 20 years old. And I talked to my dad. I said, Dad, how do I go about this? He told me the same thing. He said, just open your mouth, kind of wiggle around, and hold her, and it'll, it'll work. So I did that, and my first kiss, the actress shot me a major tongue. Wow. And I went, ah! But it didn't happen in this last kiss. So is that what the soap opera actors do? They, go, they do the wiggle? Yeah, sure. Yeah. That's the key to the perfect on-screen kiss, the wiggle. Yeah, it can be. There's different kinds, of course. But, uh, yeah. Okay. Well, enjoy today and thank you for your time. Thank you, my dear. You have a good one. You too.